this is a mixture problem. 100% of the time you would come across a question like this on your SAT. At first glance, it looks like a chemistry related question, but it's pure math. They're trying to test you on your understanding of ratios, proportions, and percentages in some advanced level of math. So if you understand this concept, you can get this type of question right in any context. So just follow along. Let's um, read the question. Uh, for an experiment, a chemist needs to create a solution containing 10% hydrochloric acid. He has the quantities of 5% acid solution and 20% acid solution, which ratio of volumes of 5% and 20% solution should he mix to generate a required generate the required 10% solution. So they've given us some percentages, but they've not given us the volume and they, we are asked to find the ratio of volumes. Let's just start by labeling what is given. All uh, right, so they've given a uh, 5% acid solution. So he's mixing 5% acid solution. Let's say C1 is the concentration of hydrochloric acid in the first solution, and which is 5%. And we don't know the volume. So V1 be the volume of the first acid solution in the mixture. Now, how do we find the amount of hydrochloric acid in the first solution or mixture? Just multiply that percentage by volume, which is C1 times V1. Um, the next is 20% acid solution. So they're mixing 5% acid solution with the 20% acid solution. Let's say C2 is the concentration of HCl in the second acid solution. So which is 20%. And now V2 volume of the second acid solution or the second mixture. How do we find the amount? You just uh, multiply C2 times V2. You get the amount of HCl in the second acid solution. Now, what is it that we need to find? Um, now, they're creating a 10% hydrochloric acid solution. So that is the concentration of hydrochloric acid in the final acid solution. Let's call that C. And the final acid solution will have a volume V1 plus V2. Uh, for example, if you're mixing one ounce of water with two ounces of milk, your mixer is going to have one plus two, that is three ounces of water and milk. So the same concept here. So amount of HCl in the final acid solution or mixture would be C times V1 plus V2. So next, what is it that we need to find? So what is the ratio of volumes of 5% and 20% solutions? So we need to find V1 over V2. We need to have some kind of an equation to solve for V1 and V2 here. Um, so we have the information right here. If we add the amount of HCl in the first acid solution um, to amount of HCl in the second acid solution, you get the final amount of HCl in the final acid solution. So we can write the equation as C1V1 plus C2V2 is equal to C times V1 plus V2. Now let's plug in what is given. So I'm going to give the percentages. C1 is 5. Now, when you're dealing with percentages, um, you can either write it as a percentage or as a decimal. Okay, so since this is an equation, it doesn't matter. You can leave it as a percentage or you can change it as a decimal. You just need to be consistent. I'm going to deal, leave it as a percentage because I don't like to deal with decimals in an equation. So it's 5v1 plus 20v2 equals 10 times v1 plus v2. Now let's expand the right hand side. Um, we can write it as 5v1 plus 20v2 is equal to 10v1 plus 10v2. We're going to distribute 10 to v1 and v2. Um, now next, now we have an equation. This is a single equation that has two variables, v1 and v2, and we cannot find v1 and v2 using one single equation. Now here is where we have to look at what we need to find. So we need to find v1 over v2. So now let's try some trick here. So we need to have v2 in the denominator. So I'm going to take a chance and divide both sides by v2. So now let's um, divide each term by V2. So what is 5 times V1 over V2? And 20 times V2 over V2, V2, V2 gets canceled, you get 20. And same thing on the other side, you get 10 times V1 over V2 plus 10 because V2 and V2 will get canceled here. 
So now let's just um, simplify. Now we have V1 over V2. So our variable right here is V1 over V2, which is what we need to find. So let's just consider as one variable X okay, or Y. And we are going to solve for V1 over V2. So I'm going to um, have all the variables on the right hand side and have all the constants on the left hand side. So you subtract um, a 5 V1 over V2 on both the sides and subtract 10 on both the sides. You get 10 is equal to 5 times V1 over V2. Now divide both sides by 5. You get V1 over V2 is 10 over 5. Now you simplify that to its lowest terms. You get 2 over 1. So V1 over V2 is 2 over 1 or you can write it as a ratio 2 to 1. So your answer choice is 2 to Here 1. Here is another mixture problem. Um, you can use the same concept. Instead of concentration and volume, here you have weight and cost. Just try to do this yourself. Um, just pause it and then once you're done, you can come back and check how this is done. Now you can see how I did this question. I'm going to read the question and label um, as I read along. Um, so Tony makes a mixture of two types of coffee beans, A and B. So we are dealing with a mixture problem. He takes nine pounds of type A. So he has two types of coffee, coffee bean A and coffee bean B. And the weight of type A is nine pounds. I'm going to label it as WA. And as it's a type B, and they've not given us the weight of type B, well, I'm going to call that WB. Um, to make a 27 pound mixture if the so okay so the total is 27 pounds so that would be wa plus wb now if the cost of coffee type a is 12 dollar per pound um, so let's label that as ca okay cost per pound for coffee type a and the cost of coffee type B is $8 per pound. So let's just label that as CB, the cost per pound for coffee type B. What is the cost of the 27 pound mixture? So we have to find the total cost of 27 pound mixture. So how do we find the total cost of the mixture? So the total cost of coffee type A plus total cost of coffee type B will give you the total cost of the mix. Um, so how do we find the total cost of coffee type A? You multiply cost per pound for coffee type A by the weight of coffee type A. Plus, um, total cost of coffee type B would be cost per pound for coffee type B plus weight of coffee type B. Now let's just plug in whatever is here. Um, so we know that cost per pound for coffee type A is 12 times 9 plus 8 times weight of coffee type B, which is something that we don't know, but we have a clue here. Weight of coffee type A plus B is 27. So weight of coffee type B would be 27 minus 9, which is 18. So now let's plug that in. In the equation, you get 12 times 9 plus 8 times 18, which is equal to 252, which is our answer choice right here. Now, if you have another easier method to solve this, please share that and uh, comment down below. Thank you for watching.